Hey guys, welcome back to Ark Survival Extreme. We are, of course, playing the Ragnarok mission, and I am joined by Miss Alliance. Hello. Uh, we today we have pretty loose plans, pretty loose plans, but I think we do have plans. We're going to go get the dinosaurs, uh, Trish, and whatever dinos are surviving. So there's a Fiomia over your shoulder there. I want to see uh, what was going on, uh, and then we need to need to develop this land. We've we've made ourselves a little claim. It's a nice claim. It's a very nice claim. For those of you that haven't seen it before, we've got this beautiful waterfall way. We've got this uh, massive overhangs going on around here. I'm about to starve to death. I have just noticed I'm starving and watering. And of course, over here, we have the uh, pet T-Rex. He's not our pet yet, but one day he will be. Uh, I'm going to make sure he doesn't lock eyes with me because he will rip through our defensive barriers in no time. Do you have any food on you? Um... Yes, but there's some in the fire over on the other rock. Is there actually some in the fire, or is that just all spoiled meat now? Oh, I don't know. Let's go find out. Let's go and have a look. Uh, of course, to go, we need to get... I'm dehydrated. Thankfully, I'm just going through water. To go and get our dinos, we do, of course, need to go back past Blue Tower. Um, here's the pestle and mortar. Here's the dodos. Hello, ladies. How are you doing? Yeah, it's all spoiled meat. It's all spoiled uh, yeah, meat. Yeah, everything in my inventory is spoiled meat as well. Let's kill a couple of these dodos and then... Oh, I feel bad, but yeah, let's do it. Well, look, there's some stuck down between the crates. Yeah, I noticed these guys last time. Uh, these girls, rather. Sorry. I broke a... Broke a spear attacking the dodo. Oh. I've got 20 bits of raw meat though. That's a, that's a good stack. I'll take that. So last time I managed to unlock narco arrows or trank arrows, I suppose we're actually calling them. Uh, and inside our pestle and mortar here, we have a whole load of narcotics made from mixing five narco berries with a spoilt meat. I'm going to take half of them, uh, half the narcotics, and I'm going to turn. Well, four narco arrows might not actually be worth it, but I'm going to I'm going to craft them up just to say that I've actually done that. So down here, it takes an arrow and a narco. So I'm going to make all four that I can. Ooh. Right, I'm not sure if six bits each will do, but let's go anyway. I'm sure it'll be fine. What, how, how would it not be? <laughs> uh, the bigger worry is going to be coming back with uh, Trish, because she is slow. Hey, come and look at this. Come and look at this. I noticed it when we were just running past, okay? So all these green mossy rocks, right? Got all these green mossy rocks around. But mm. this one's not a rock. What is this? Oh, wow. It's like an upside down face, maybe a totem of some description. Where did it, it must have come down from like that big old gouge in the rock up, rock face up there. Yeah. Maybe even pedestal above the waterfall. Look, look, there's a thing above the waterfall. There's a new face there. Or maybe a, yeah, maybe a death mask of some description. There's a, there's a nostrils and eyes, maybe some teeth. Man, we need to get some flyers and really explore this this area out. Like, we ran back and forth this way quite a few times, and we just never even I noticed, noticed it. I noticed it, yeah. Just did not notice it. Crazy. It's crazy. But anyway, with that, we have returned to our glorious hovel. Uh, people that are following on will recognise Viking Bay down there. How's it looking? Is it safe? It looks quiet. It looks calm. It looks like our hut is fine. Uh, do I see Trish? I see Trish around the back. I think Trish is fine. I think Trish is fine. Yeah, Trish awesome. is absolutely cool. Uh, it is time that we went in and cooked the meat that we've been killing on the way over here, though. Oh, because yeah, you've of... got some meat. I have got some meat. Oh, and Locri's fine as well. All right, awesome. everything should be A-OK -okay for us. All right, I don't need to go and gather meat, then. If you can put that in the fire. Cooking time is slow. Cooking time is slow. It is true. I don't know if there's a, a faster way of cooking meat. There is something called an industrial cooker, but uh, that's that's fairly high level. Hey, I'm just watching the uh, the wonder of nature play out over here. There's one tiny diflo going around trying to start a ruckus with most of the animals around here, but they just outrun him. Really? Yeah, it's a shame. Well, he keeps picking on the parasaurs mainly, and uh, that's just not not good for him. They they can definitely outrun him. Yeah, that's not... Oh, good. poor little parasaur's got stuck on the rock over there as well, on the left. Oh, he's picking on a dodo now. He might win that fight. He might win that fight. It's true. It's true. Poor little parasaur stuck out there. Such a shame. 
Such a shame. Right, so we've made it back. We've got everything that we thought we needed to get out of the boxes, and Trish is ready to go. Okay. We're just waiting for a little bit of food, and then we're going to uh, begin our trek back, where once again we'll have a clip montage with all the little fun things we did on the way. So I'm back at Trish's homelands. Be nice to get her a mate at some point. Yeah, it would. I'm not sure if any of these uh, lowly wild trikes will be able to handle her raw power, though. I mean, she was a level five when we caught her. Oof. Seriously, get out of my way! Oh, this 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 trike actually really wants her. I'm just gonna push. <laughs> just push through. Seriously, have, have I glitched into it? What's going on here? <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, so that little detour has given me quite a bit of meat. I'm just gonna turn the fire off and come and find you. Okay, will will Trish be able to get over the log? No. I I actually don't know. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. She's got this nice little um, aiming bit at the front. Two prongs at the back, or one in the front, just to make sure I'm lined up properly. So this should be okay. Man, she is huge compared to it, though. Yeah, I don't think she can fit on this. Go Trish, go! I I think this is funny. I'm not sure though. I, You're kind of like. <laughs> am I tipped far, as far forwards as I think I am? Anyway, let's do a K. You're like hanging I, I'm off proper, the side. Like, the face logs like down. go through her head. <laughs> that's that's a bit weird. That's a bit weird. But I, I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna enjoy it. All right, we're free. <laughs> she Oop, kind of good. merged with the log. I am one with the log. Watch me traverse such trap terrors. The torch really kind of get like cuts off your field of view. Why am I stuck? It sort of encloses it in, doesn't it? It makes makes this tiny little area of lit. But I don't know if you've been walking outside with a flashlight or anything like that recently. That's that's kind of what happens when you have a light source outside. Yeah, but I don't hold the torch in front of my eyes. Do you not? No. I oh, usually well. have it down lower to the ground. You should try harder. Put it in your face. Just be like, bah, jam that red hot poker in your in your eye. <laughs> so that was um, a rather uneventful hour's worth of getting the dinosaurs, but we have the dinosaurs. Woo! Woo uh, do we uh, want to take a small break and come back fresh? <laughs> um, yeah. Where are you? There. I am doing a level. I don't know, you're staring at your wrist. Yep, staring at my wrist. That's how we do levels, you know? That's how we do levels. So, the T-Rex is still over there. Oh, yeah, so oh, I was just going to go that, have a look. That was a little little juddery oh, there. Yeah, there he yeah, is. There he is. <laughs> Ooh, he's scary. He's scary. So, we need to try and figure out what we're going to build here. There are a few buildings or a few areas we need to make. Uh, the ones we've identified earlier. Sleeping area. We need a work area. That means somewhere to put our forge. Uh, and I believe we've got a workbench to make as well. That that might be a thing. Okay. Uh, sleep area, work area, and a storage area. Th those are the three we've immediately identified. There was something else I was literally just thinking about, and I was like, oh, I've got to remember to m mention that, and now I'm just like, I can't remember what it was. So, should we go and make some, get some materials? We, we've emptied Trish out. We need to go and, like, deforest the local area, because, you know, I hate the area being full of forest. And we will do... Do a build thing in a second. Have you seen him over there? That's scary. Oh, oh. no, I had not seen him over there. Oh, there goes that, that dino. Well, I don't know whether he's just gone outside of uh, range, visual range for me or what. He disappeared, but that T-Rex is definitely still fighting something. I was going to say, it looks like he's still attacking something. Is the other one coming in for attack as well? Is they going to be like, hey, buddy, let me come and help? Let's, let's try and get a little closer so I can render what's going down. Yeah, there we go, there we go. I'm worried about the other one. That's two T Rexes now. Two T Rexes yeah. shouldn't be shouldn't be a big problem. Hopefully they'll face off in some sort of battle royale. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. That that would be amazing. I've got a feeling they're just going to team up on us though. Uh, he's running. He's running. Well, as long as he runs away from here, that's the main thing. Anyway, uh, uh, as I was saying, should we go and get ourselves some materials? Yeah. Okay, so we need to make a bunch of. No, don't do it. I thought I was going to die. I thought I was going to... You've put more boxes down. I have. I'm just going to rearrange some stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, so what I was saying was we need to make a whole bunch of foundations. That's that's where we've got to start with this. So I'm going to go crafting. Now, I could... I've, I've just unlocked the stone ones. Trish, are you all What's right What's Trish there? doing? Are you, are you okay? Is she you, burning on the fire? She might be. Let's see if we can move her. 
You, you feeling better? She is bad. Look, look, she's got like scar on her and stuff. That's um, not great. That's she's now roasting her tail as well. All right, anyway, let's 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 drag her up this way. Hopefully, she'll come along with that. That water really is quite loud, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, it's not going to be anywhere near as bad on the game noises because, you know, I set up my own own volumes. But but still, that's that's really loud. Uh, I am looking for foundations. I can currently make one. Woot. Uh, my problem is wood. Okay, let's let's come down first to the chest. box. Sorry, first, first chest. chest. Okay, in here. We're going to make ourselves a snot ton, however many we can make. I've literally just emptied out of wood. Um, and then we're going to go three. I've got a feeling there's something else holding us back there. Possibly thatch. Uh, second box in. Okay, so I've taken all the thatch fibre and wood there is. And I'm going to make a bunch more. So I've made six. Six sounds like a good area for our a uh, good number for our sleeping quarters, but not so great for our um, workshop or storage area. I think our workshop needs to be a three by three, nine blocks, at least, at the very least, um, okay. may maybe more, maybe more. I am hot because of the fire. Ooh, so hot. It's time to make a few decisions over here about where things are going and what we're going to have. First off, are we going to have separate areas or are we going to have one great big mon monolithic structure? I mean, we're going to make our wood, so it's not monolithic. It'll be monolignant. But anyway, enough confusing words aside. Where, what, what, what are we going to do? Where are we going to do it? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? I quite like having separate areas. Separate areas. That's cool. But that's cool. as we are just starting with our wooden structures and we're going to progress to maybe like stone buildings. Yeah. It might be an idea just to have everything in one building to save some space. And then we can progress on to larger separate stone buildings. Uh, the thing is, what we put down can be upgraded to stone. Ah, oh, okay. So, like, think of it. Don't think of this as a temporary. Think of this as the final. Okay. So, like, uh, you, you mentioned because the water's here. Yeah, that's a good place for farmland in the yeah. middle here. So we'll, we'll pop some cro uh, some crop plots up this way. Crop plot, very very hard thing to say. Very hard thing to say. Uh, and then over yonder on... Th oh, look at what's going down over there. Oh, dear. Oh, well, anyway, over here. Are we sure we want to have our living space over here? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> um, possibly to start with. So what I was thinking, later levels, later levels, I believe we get to make some glass stuff as like... Um, greenhouse walls and stuff like that uh, I would love to have a glass bedroom all the way out here that that sun glare is quite quite horrific on the rocks yeah I wanted a bit of a tower on one of these rocks so I could store my stuff downstairs and then walk up a spiral staircase to my bedroom at the top okay so we'll, out here is personal spaces we'll, we'll decide, decide which one goes where uh, we'll have farms in the middle here. Neither of us have made farm stuff, so it's a little bit redundant talking about that. Uh, and then out by Mr. T-Rex over there, we're going to have our built our living space. Yes. Um, okay, so let's let's do that, shall we? I happen to have from our collection and building nine foundations on me. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't didn't install that mod that we were talking about that would allow us to like oh, okay. see each other's. Um, blue. They're not blueprints. What are they? Transparencies, building plots, something like that. Uh, now we got a we got a door there. This this gateway here. So I don't really want to build right in front of it. Or do we want to build right in front of it to have it as like a doorway in? Or do uh, we want to build here on this rock? Here on this. Just rock. here behind you, by the doors. Oh, that rock. This. This was where I was going to build defensive structures. Oh, okay. All right. Because that T-Rex is going to come and try and rip down our walls at some point. Okay. Uh, and so, I'd like, yeah, I'd like to build a defensive tower there. Uh, okay. Maybe nestled in amongst with these rocks? Like if I... Uh, uh, Put a house in here? Yeah, pop okay. this, like, here. Mm, that orientation, something like that, and build from that. Okay, you put your foundations down, then. I'll get my walls ready. Okay. Uh, now... Building an arc is incredibly awkward because you've got to keep pressing down the button. Uh, excuse, <clears throat> excuse me. Because you've got to press the button every time. Every time. I can't be like, yes, I'm building with foundations and then it just carries on putting foundations down for me. i got to push that button each and every... Oh, I put it down. Well, we're going to have a funny shape base. Oh, 
I'm terrible at this. I'm going to build some more. Ah. Uh, there's three. I want, I want to build more. I want to build more, as I say. I reckon we come out another three here. It looks like we're having a porchway. That uh, would be nice. Door, door about here. Where would you like the door? door on this here. one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and maybe have a similar thing on this side over here. We'll come out one further than it is. Uh, and have a porchway there as well. Bu building plans are evolving. Hold on, I need some wood. Ah, <gasps> wait, is this is this what we need? Oh my, oh my gosh! Bring all the narcos. Bring, bring all the narcos. Bring them to me. And um, berries, maybe. Trish has got some berries on it. I don't know what this guy eats. We need this guy before we can even begin thinking about making a stone in a stone structure. Because this guy is a dinosaur that collects stone. One of two. I presume you went round to the left and down where we were collecting wood before. Oh, 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 Trish has gone nuts. Trish has gone nuts. She's killing it. She's killing oh, it. No, Trish. It may have been my fault. Um, Did you not uh, set her on passive? I, I set her to neutral. I can't get close enough to set her off. Um, let's see. At symbol. Uh, whistle passive. I mean, unfortunately now, Trish is going to be in trouble. Hi, how's it going? Hi. Uh, let's get Trish following me. So we've got an an Ankylosaurus back there. It's about to come chasing Trish. Oh yeah, here he comes. Um, we probably want to kill this one. We probably want to kill this one. Now that we... you've started a fight. Yeah. Oh man, that that was points there. Let me let me tell Trish to like fight back now. Uh, whistle whistle neutral. Go on then, Trish. Oh, I broke my spear. They're having a little poo. I can't can't see what's going down. I might have to take Trish out of here in case she gets like proper battered. In fact, she's getting proper battered. Uh, I'm off. Yeah, I do have some... Ooh, some bow... a bow and some arrows. Right, Trish had this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, that was that was fairly poorly managed, but we, we can do better there. Keratin, though. Hype. Hype. Well done. Are we both moving painfully slow? So, which dinosaur do we want to tame that will be able to carry large, heavy loads? I mean, steaks are good. And anything big, the Brontos? I mean, we can tell a Bronto to follow us without having a saddle for it. So we could just tame a Bronto and it can carry all our big, 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 heavy stuff. It can also, like, gather it all quicker than we possibly could. But I, I, re I still reckon a steak is a good place for you to go. You think a steak? Because yeah. I was thinking the parasaur. Parasaur, like parasaur is good if you want a a fast mover, something that gets around the map. Yeah, well, they, that's kind of what I want for when we're running around adventuring, then. Yeah. But that's not going to help us now with our building resources. No. No, which is why I reckon a steak. Okay. Well, I've never had carbonomies, and we can do the saddles for them, which is also good. And they must be able to carry a lot. They've got this shell, right? <laughs> You'd imagine so. Like the, you'd imagine the devs would make that so. Wow, the uh, the mist that falls over the water right now. That's kind of nice if it wasn't for this post-processing shadow business. Look at that over there. Disgusting. Uh, T Rex is missing. This worries me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the T Rexes are indeed missing. Uh, I I prefer it when I can keep an eye on them, as I'm sure you're understanding. Yes. Well, let's place these walls and then we'll have a look. All right, cool. Let's place some walls. What walls we got? We got walls and we got windows. I, I love these little window hatch action. That's just that's so cool. Okay, a wall there. And then, so this is the porchway, you said? Yeah, this is a porchway. We've even got, like, sloped roofy things we can put above this. Because I want to go this 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 inside space here, this nine uh, three by three. I keep wanting to call it a nine by nine, but it's not. It's a three by three. Uh... I'd like that to go up two floors, but I'd like these porchways to be one floor that slopes up towards the second one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So you've got to take both the left and the right walls separately. That is disgusting. How dare they cost us so many engram points. And then there is a wooden roof as well. All right, that's nice. That's nice. So this front piece here, you're adding any more onto here, or can I put window panels here? I oh, know, window panels here. The, these three across here, two across here, sorry, and then two back this way as well. Uh, they definitely want window panels. Now, I need to see what I'm missing from making two sloped roofs. So I need fibre and wood. And then the two sides as well. I'll, I'll be back when I've got some stuff. I thought I thought all the boxes had been smashed for a moment. There I walked over, looked at Trish, looked at her feet. I was like, where's all the boxes? But I didn't park her in front of the boxes. So that's all good. <laughs>
Uh, I want three of these. I want to be able to go over here as well. I am over encumbered. We are also starting to run out of fiber, believe it or not. Really? Fiber, of all things. So I want to make two of these. One, two sloped roofs. Uh, and then I want to make two of each of these, which should be nice and simple because they seem to be quite cheap. One would guess they're... One would guess oh, that they're half the price of a normal wall, as they're like the sloped diagonal bit, right? Okay, that all got made. That's nice. That's nice. Yo, yo, yo! What's up? How's it going? I've got some stuffs. I got some stuffs that I hope are going to make this look super, super fancy. Uh, if I drag these down to my hot slots, uh, I'm gonna go with that one there and this one there. I don't know whether these are going to look the right way. Uh, no, that's not the right way. This way? No, not that one. You. I'm gonna put you there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking good, looking good. Uh, and then we want this one here. And then hopefully I can put this on top like that. Yeah. Okay, that's sweet. That looks good. That is exactly what I was after. Can we replicate? Oh no, no, I can't replicate it out over here. Okay, so we're gonna need we're gonna need to make some more of those window frames. But should we go get the stego? Ah, oh, indeed. Yeah, we're gonna go. Uh, gonna go grab you a pack mule.